Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are in Warner Robins, Georgia, specifically checking out the Museum of Aviation. And it's located on the base of Robins Air Force Base. If you are ever in the area, I cannot recommend strongly enough that you stop and check out this, this museum. The price of admission, there is none. You show up and you go in, they do accept donations, but for the most part, entry into the museum is free. The museum starts from the mo moment you enter the grounds because there are a lot of installations in the parking area that you can check out before going into the museum. A lot of these decommissioned planes have had active service in campaigns around the world in the Air Force. So by all means, stop, check out the installations before you go into the museum and learn a little of the history of these aircraft. The museum itself is comprised of, I believe, two huge buildings that hold a lot of different exhibits. So the main building that we enter in, into right now has a few installations of aircrafts, but there's a lot of historical exhibits related to campaigns that these planes took part in around the globe. So everything from the Korean War, from Vietnam to campaigns in Germany, everything is documented and presented in different exhibits throughout this building, interspersed with different aircraft that have served in those campaigns at the time. So by all means, please do stop, check out all of the exhibits before you move on to other parts of the museum because there's a lot of history in this building. In addition to aircraft, there's also exhibits of different vehicles that have been used as well as armaments. So don't be surprised when you're walking around and you see the casings for nuclear bombs or other missiles that may have been used as projectiles on these planes. Also, don't forget to check out the grounds behind the main building because there are tons of decommissioned aircraft outside that span the entire history of the uh, US Air Force. So be sure to stop in on the ex outside exhibit, walk around, look at the planes. You're not able to go in and get inside of the aircraft, but for the most part, you can walk around I don't recommend touching these aircraft, just watch from a distance and admire. There's also some decommissioned planes that were used by the US presidents. There's a secondary building as well that has more recent artifacts from campaigns such as Desert Storm. And this is where I think you may run into some of the armaments such as a nuclear weapon casing and other aircraft that will transport those projectiles into the field of war. You are encouraged to take pictures but for the most part you're not really allowed to climb on, climb into, or touch the different artifacts. So just watch and admire from a distance. There's also an exhibit on African-American contribution to the different campaigns around the world in which they served in the Air Force. They've had their own squadron as well as job responsibilities.
Thanks for checking out the video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, and by all means, leave some comments down below. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks.